Hello everybody, and welcome to another time lapse drawing. Uh, this one, I've called it the cathedral window, because it's, well you see in the end it's kind of a cathedral window looking kind of thing. Um, right now, I'm just trying to get some ram skulls, because I had this idea of putting ram skulls in a circle, um, kind of like a, like a ram skull mandala kind of. So I, I measured them out and got them all lined up. And then here I'm tracing them with my light box, so that I have something to go by when I'm drawing them in ink. I think there's 20 ram skulls in title round the circle. So you've got 16 round the outside, and 4 in the middle. And then this is adding the detail. So you see I just did quite a rough pencil sort of outline. At this point here, I didn't really know what the background was going to be like. You might be able to see some kind of lines drawn there, but that's nothing like what it ends up as, because those were just added there for, I don't know, to give me an idea, I guess. But that's not what I went for in the end. So yeah, this video is quite long, because this one took a long time. This is sped up quite a lot. It's 25 frames a second, and then... I've double sped up that as well, so it's um it's like fifty frames a second, it's fifty fifty seconds in one second basically. I didn't really want to go much faster because I didn't want to lose anything. I wasn't sure if it'd be too quick and you'd be able to see certain parts getting done. And like I was saying, I really have no idea what I'm going to add to the background of this one at this point. All I'm doing, I'm just concentrating on the skulls. I just thought it would be cool to have a circle of skulls. And that's what I went for, and I thought I'd get that bit done before I even considered the background. I wasn't even sure if it was going to be a dot work drawing, which it is in the end, like you'll see. <clears throat> There's a nice close-up detailed shot of the ram skulls. Now on these I'm using my um my Stiedler pens. I think that's the way you say it, I'm not entirely sure. Stiedler. St yeah, Stiedler. It's got like the Roman helmet on the on the on the logo. And um these two bits I'm using a point one and a point zero five, so like the smallest one they do. To get all those tiny details in the horns and and the cracks in the in the skull and stuff and the teeth, which I think you can kind of see how small and detailed it is. Okay, so that's the ram skull mandala pretty much completed. And then this is where I decided to go for a, like a window, cathedral window kind of effect. See, so I did these <coughs> circles. Now, cathedral windows are very geometric, that's why I th kind of went for them, because they've got real geometric influences with the circles and how they all fit together. So you see that I've got the four circles, each one of them has um, four circles inside it. Oh, they're five circles. Ah, five circles. So you've got a circle with five circles in it, and there's four of those circles within a big circle. So it's all, it's all geometry, it all sort of fits together. Every angle and line has something to do with another angle or line in that in that sort of area. So like if you carried on with the compasses, those points, they would carry on right through to the other side. And it would all join up. Which I thought worked perfectly for my kind of style. Here I'm starting the colouring. That was all lines you saw then, with the line drawing. Now I'm adding, adding in the colour in dot work. Now I wanted to give um, the framing of this of the window, like the the sandstone or limestone, I think it is, um, kind of look and effect. 
and the 3D effect, you know, how they've always, they're always some kind of pointed, they always sort of kind of slope inwards towards the glass and then reach a point and then go back in towards the, um, towards the brickwork. So I wanted to sort of bring that out. And if you've seen the finished picture on my Instagram, then you'll see what I mean by the whole 3D effect kind of thing. Um, so yeah, if you if you have Instagram, you can find all my stuff on there. You can look for me by searching keeping it wheat underscore art, and in wheat the A is a four. So keeping it W H E four T underscore art. <coughs> yeah, so here you can kind of you can begin to see the um the 3D effect I'm going for. I'm using uh, four different types of pen, uh, colours of pen I mean, for this sort of, to get this one brown colour that I want. With dots you can you can use a lot of different colours and you can mix them together. Because it's in dots, up close you'll just see lots of blurred different coloured dots, but as you move further away they'll all kind of blend and and they'll become a solid colour pretty much, or a solid tone. So I use a dark grey, a dark brown, a sort of more lighter sort of orangey brown, which is the pen you can see there at the side. And then um, I go over all of it with this real fine grey, which I find is the most important colour to add actually. Which is weird because you're thinking if you're trying to make brown, you'd think the most important colour to add would be brown. But no, once I've done all the brown, I then went over everything with this grey pen. This very, very light grey pen. It's like you can barely see it when you touch the paper. But as you watch the video, you will see the areas that I've done in this grey are very uh, blended. They're a lot, uh, slightly darker. And they're all sort of blended into one colour takes the sharpness away from the edges of the dots, I guess. And separates the whites from the colours. So that's all that bit. Um, here, um, <clears throat> adding some of the, the lead that you have around the edge of the, um, around the edge of the stained glass windows that holds all the glass in. And for that again, I use that they're very light grey and the darker grey. Just a few spots of darker grey here and there just to give off a, a dimpled kind of old effect I guess. And it also from further away makes it look darker. And at this point as well I'm also thinking about what to add to the windows because I'm not entirely sure. Like, I've just added this cathedral window sort of frame without any sort of <laughs> idea of what to add to the middle of it. Um, I was thinking because of the skulls to have like a darker a darker theme to it and because it's a cathedral window why not a, a more bibli biblical kind of theme. And so I thought uh, why not use like a darker, the darker stories from the Bible. Um, so I thought of some of the darker stories, and I thought, uh, you know, like, um, Lucifer being cast out of heaven and becoming the devil, that's a dark story from the Bible. Uh, Noah's Ark, so the flooding of the world, that's obviously a dark story. Um, Jesus getting crucified is obviously a darker story. And Abraham getting asked to kill his son, I thought was also one of the dark stories in the Bible. Not that I'm religious or anything like that, I'm actually a complete atheist, so... And I didn't do any of this out of blasphemy at all, so... <laughs> don't even try and bring me up on that. But anyway... Um... Yeah, I just thought it'd be nice to... have... this picture with that kind of theme, because of the skulls and the, and the cathedral window idea. Um, yeah, so here I'm just adding a bit more sort of detailing around the edges, 
because I didn't want to have the whole thing um, in Bible stories or whatever. <coughs> so I'm just adding some like, it's kind of like greenery, I guess, sort of bushes and stuff around the edges. Here's a slightly more detailed closer up shot. I think this is the middle I'm doing here. Yes, it is. I wasn't really sure what to do in the middle, so I just <laughs> chucked a bit of geometry in there for the hell of it. It's a bit sort of different from the rest of it because it's quite imposing with the red and black. And then here we go, this is the stained glass now, adding the, the lead in from the in between the glass panels kind of thing. Now you have to really simplify it when you're doing gla uh, stained glass sort of design because if you look at stained glass, they would usually have the whole face would be one panel of glass and they'd sort of paint the face on the glass sort of thing. It would be one colour and they would paint on it. So you have to sort of think of how to split these up into their sections. But I think it came out quite well in the end with how they were split. And I've used um, certain colours in this thing, in this picture, to represent different things. So, like beings, I've just used black, just a silhouette, because it was simpler. I didn't have this; it's quite a small area. I don't really have that much detail, uh, area for detail sort of thing. So I thought I'd just use in black. Um, and I don't know if I've done it yet on this bit. Yeah, there's the orange and yellow bursts of colour. And those are to represent sort of God, I guess, or the presence of of him, if he exists. <laughs> Depends on what you believe. And this is pretty much coming to the end now. It's coming very close. So, yeah, as I said, you can find... All my pictures and stuff, uh, you can see the finished product of this one in all its glory on my uh, Instagram, that is keepingitwheat underscore art, where the A is a 4, don't forget that bit. Um, or you can find me on Facebook at um, www.facebook.com forward slash keepingitwheat art, which I believe the A is a 4 in that as well, I think. Oh yes, this is just showing around. Quick video of the whole thing. <laughs>